Am I learning? You're about to. Specification point 1.2. Describe how specialized cells are adapted to their function, including sperm cells, egg cells, and ciliated epithelial cells. To successfully answer any GCSE question linked to this specification point, you will need to be able to label the sperm cell, the egg cell, and the ciliated epithelial cell. In addition to this, you will need to know how to describe how each of these cells is adapted to fulfill its function. Exam questions linked to the sperm cell will either ask you to label the sperm cell or it will ask you to describe how the sperm cell is adapted to fulfill a certain function. The sperm cell has enzymes called acrosomes in the head part of the cell. When the sperm cell reaches the egg cell to actually enter, the sperm cell has to break through the eggs jelly coat, and to do this it uses the acrosomes. The sperm cell also has a haploid nucleus, which contains half of the DNA. When the sperm cell finally enters the egg cell, the sperm cell's haploid nucleus will combine with the haploid nucleus of the egg cell to make a diploid cell. The sperm cell has a tail which helps it to swim and to reach the egg cell. Finally, the sperm cell has lots of mitochondria just here in the neck of the sperm cell. Mitochondria are vital as they provide energy for the movement of the tail. A sperm cell that has more mitochondria will be up to swim for longer and faster. Ultimately, it's a race, and the first sperm cell to enter the egg cell is the winner. The most common questions linked to egg cells will either ask you to label the egg cell or describe how it is adapted to fulfill its function. It has a haploid nucleus meaning it has half of the necessary chromosomes. Once the egg and sperm cell's nuclei are combined, in other words, fertilization has occurred, a diploid cell is formed. This diploid cell then starts to multiply and eventually becomes the baby or offspring. The cytoplasm is full of nutrients, and this supplies the fertilized egg with energy and materials for growth. Once the sperm cell reaches the jelly coat, which is the outer lining, it releases the acrosomal enzymes which like chemical scissors start to cut away the cell membrane. However, once one sperm cell enters, the cell membrane becomes hard. This prevents any more sperm cells from entering the egg cell. This ensures that only one sperm cell fertilizes the egg cell. Exam questions linked to ciliated epithelial cells usually focus on the fact that ciliated epithelial cells have lots of mitochondria, which provide the required energy for the cilia to contract and cause a wavy movement. In the trachea, the cilia contracts to form a wavy movement. This in turn moves the mucus up the trachea. The many mitochondria provide the energy needed for the cilia to contract. Our animations were designed by experienced UK trained teachers. We have been achieving amongst the best results in the country for many years and we decided it was time to share our success. Have you just amled and want to amal some more? Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to keep yourself up to date with the latest uploads. Amal learning, you just did.